Oh, excuse me. How convenient and on microphone. And uh, apologies for the train wreck of a room. If I'd known I'd have visitors, I probably would have cleaned up a little. But you see, I'm, I'm coding some PyTorch over here, specifically learning about PyTorch optimization loops, like a PyTorch training loop and a PyTorch testing loop or an eval loop. And you know what? There's a, there's a fair few steps in there to remember. So I, I wrote a little jingle to help me remember and you possibly remember too. And that way we can never forget. So let's train for an epoch in a range, call model dot train, do the forward pass, calculate the last, optimize a zero grad, last backwards, optimize a step, step, step. Let's test. Call model dot eval with torch inference mode, do the forward pass, calculate the last, print out what's happening. Let's do it again, again, again. For another epoch, call model dot train, do the forward pass, and calculate the last, optimize a zero grad, last backwards, optimize a step, step, step. Let's test, call model dot eval with torch inference mode, do the forward pass, and calculate the last, print out what's happening. Let's do it again, again, again. For another epoch, call model dot train, do the forward pass, calculate the loss, optimize a zero grad, loss backward, optimize a step, step, step. Let's test, call model dot eval with torch inference mode, do the forward pass, calculate the loss, print out what's happening. Keep going if you want, but don't forget to save, save, save. But of course, due to the Pythonic nature of PyTorch, you don't necessarily have to learn that jingle off by heart, as fun as it is. You can functionize the training loop and the test loop, so you can save them and call them again, again, again. Anyway, back to it. Hey Torchy, play that music. Are you ready? Let's train. Come on, our train. Do the forward pass. Calculate the loss. Optimize the zero grad. Last backward, optimize a step, step, step. Test time, 